What do you look for in a budget DAC? Well, Chris in Houston, Texas wants to know, and Chris writes, I'm a college student and I'm piecing together a system from speakers I'm making and some old equipment my dad doesn't use anymore, which is exactly how I got started, <laughs> taking all the crap my dad didn't want. So good for you, Chris. Um, I have a very high-end preamp and amp thanks to his generosity. Gotta love them dads. Now, what I'm looking for is a good quality DAC that can fit within my very limited budget, $100 to $300. The DAC will be replaced by a higher quality one down the line, but for now, my budget is a bit limited. So my question is, what should I look for in a DAC to maximize the quality of the sound? I don't have anyone that would let me borrow a DAC to see how it sounds, so I have to make an informed decision without being able to hear what I'm buying beforehand. Don't want to cover up the book here with a shameless plug. Okay, <clears throat> so you have a couple of choices. First off, you can go used. There's tons of good DACs out there on the used market, and DACs don't really go bad. I mean, I'll bet you could find something from Shit Audio, S-C-H-I-I-T, I know we go through this all the time. They've got some great products, they're good designers. Um, the Audio Quest, what are they called? Why do I have Dragon on the, oh, it's because we're doing their power cables. Um, Dragonfly, that's, Bill Lowe, if you're listening to me, you have the goofiest names. You really do, you ought, I, anyway. Let's, let's not get going here. We're going to get Paul going, and next thing you know, he'll be on politics. No, we're not going there. So, nope, not going there. All right, so um, the AudioQuest Dragonfly, I don't, uh, <coughs> I don't know what that costs, but it's just a little USB thing. It's excellent. It's really good. So those are the things I would look for. But again, as my advice always goes, shop by brand. Brands are over and underrated, okay? What do I mean by that? Well, hell, this might need some pacing. <laughs> you know, the history of brands, and when we think about brands, they, they all started out, you know, from the brand of a cow, right? And when, back, way back when, back in them days, when they used to brand them cows, they'd get these poor animals down and they'd sear their flesh. Hideous, hideous thing to do. But I'm a vegetarian, so you'll have to forgive me because I don't like the way animals are treated. And, and I don't eat animals and I wouldn't eat something that I don't have the cojones to go out and kill and scrape up and I think that's just bad. And I said I wasn't gonna get political, okay, sorry. How did I get off on the, oh, branding, sure. So years ago, we used to have you know, these hot irons and they would brand these poor animals and so that they would know that this is, these are Joe's animals and these are Bob's animals and they belong to the Lazy W Ranch, right? And so that, that, that's how the word brand came about. But you know, PS Audio is a brand. Um, whatever this is, Yamo is a brand. And those brands represent something so that you know when you buy a Sony, it's going to represent this, this, and this. And when you buy a PS Audio, it's going to represent that, that, and that. And brands that are true to their mission, which unfortunately isn't always, isn't even, you know, usually the case. But in the high-end audio industry, I believe that is not the norm. In the high-end audio industry, the norm is that brands represent a certain level of quality. So when you're out looking for DACs, stick to the high-end field, do a little bit of research, find out who is actually interested in high-performance audio and its reproduction. And of course we are shit audio is, and uh, audio quest is, there's, I mean, go down the line, there's a whole bunch of, of companies out there that are really interested in furthering the art of reproducing music in a good way. So narrow it down to those brands, and let's say you find 10 brands, and then you got a budget of 100 to 300 dollars, 
I'd start looking on the used market. See what you can find. Go on eBay. Go over to our friends TMR at the the music room. They have uh, a lot of you know. Call one of them. They they they've got great. You know, I got three hundred bucks. What am I going to buy? And you know, I mean, you could buy a, a used Sprout. I, I don't know if you can get it for three hundred bucks, but you can come close. So that's what I would do. Be brand specific. Do a little bit of work, a little bit of homework, and um, well, you're used to that. You're in college, right? So you're used to that work. So Chris, <laughs> do your homework, find the brand or brands that you like, get onto the used market, and you'll find something. I promise. All right. Thanks for the question. I'll talk to you tomorrow.